Hi guys, it's Julia at Crosspatch again. Beautiful sunny day. Um, I'm talking hexi flowers again because I'm doing crate and craft in a couple of weeks and I've got a hexi flower project and I thought it'd be good so people could come and have a look back at this to see how I did the big boy quilt. Um, so we're starting with a big boy hexi flower template. So if you don't know what big boys are, these are the big boys. So you've got the flower template and you've got the hexagon template. Um, in this kit, I'm using some pretty art gallery fabric, which is um, this pretty florally fabric, um, together with some calico. I haven't put calico in the kit because I know they've got it on Create and Craft website, although it might not be the same quality as I sell on my website. Um, if you're looking for anything, look on the uh, Crosspatch website which is www.cross-patch.co.uk. Anyway, on with the Hexy Big Boys. So when you get your templates, you need to trace these onto calico. We want two pieces of calico. So we're going to place two pieces of calico together. We're going to put the big Hexy Flower template on it and we're going to draw around it with a pen, marker pen, any any pen you want basically. Uh, you can see the line there and that, that drawn line is your stitching line. So once you've drawn it on, trim it off a bit and sew all round on that drawn line with the smallest stitch you can manage and then trim it off to within about a quarter of an inch of that line. Also get a pair of small scissors and see these bits here just snip in there because it makes it easier to turn out otherwise you get all crinkly bits when you turn it inside out so when you've turned it inside out one side is nice and smooth like that the other side to turn it inside out you've got to cut a hole I forgot to say that I'm telling you now cut a hole in the back and turn it inside out and then press it don't panic Mr Mannering about your hole because you're going to cover that with your hexagon so made these up in the kit i think i need 19 to make um, a big table runner which i've not quite finished but i can show you half done version in a minute um, now you're going to need to make your hexagon so you get your big boy hexagon get your fabric so i got some pretty um, sharon holland fabric kismet and you can just use this like you'd use any old ruler and you can use your rotary cutter and just cut out your hexagons so I've cut, I think it's roughly six and a half inch strip off mine and I'll get six hexagons out of that. So just moving your template along and cutting round with your rotary cutter. Once you've got your hexagon, you need some iron on uh, wadding. Um, this is H640 or you can use H630, which is slightly thinner. And you can fuse this to the back of your pretty fabric. So here's my pretty fabric. I fused it to the back of the pretty fabric and then I put that on the cut piece on my hexagon on top of there where I turned it inside out and pinned it in place. Now to stitch in place, I just use, now here I have to take the glasses off otherwise I can't see what I'm doing. I've used some really nice Valdani thread. So this is Raspberry Fizz, also available on my website and also in the kits on Crane Craft. Um, and all I'm going to do is fold over a petal, each petal at a time, put a knot in the end of your thread and then when you sew it's just a running stitch. Don't go all the way through, just catch the fabric underneath. If you can use a thimble, please use a thimble because you get really sore fingers doing this and there were lots of bad words said last night when I was doing mine because I kept stabbing myself. So. Look on the back, see, I'm just catching the fabric underneath and not going all the way through. When you've done that many times over, you will have a nice big pile of hexagons like this. So I've got loads and loads and loads of my hexagons done. And then you're going to sew them together just like you would a normal hexy flower. Now I'm panicking now because doing this in the middle of the day, I can hear the grandchildren have just arrived in the car. So any minute now we're going to hear Nanny. Here we go. Here's the start of my um, tabletop it's going to be. So all I've done to sew it together 
is use a very fine slip stitch on the back. So I'm just slip stitching them on the back. And to do that, I am using some fine cotton thread. So Vinca thread, which again, I stock and it's a lace making thread. And it looks like this. It's just a cotton thread and it's very good for doing hexi flowers and really nice for stitching with. And also for doing your traditional hexagons, it's really good. So when I finish this, I'll get back to you and I'll do an update on the YouTube channel. But thanks for listening to my rambling and I'm gonna go now before I have two screaming grandchildren in the shed. Okay, trot.